Since I'm stuck back here, let me show you how to remove the rear center console in an Aston Martin DB9. Yeah, it's a two plus two. Sure, you can put people back here. In this episode of Aston1936.com, I'm gonna talk quickly because I'm jammed back here in the uh, rear compartment of my DB9. So uh, what I wanna show you how to do is to remove the rear center console section, which is the center strip. It goes all the way back that I can't even turn my head that far to where the rear uh, center mounted stoplight is. So you might be wanting to do this for a bunch of reasons. This particular panel uh, of leather, you need to remove it if you're gonna take out the center console section because there's some hidden screws under the front of it. Uh, so uh, you might take that out. Or if you're gonna run some wiring, uh, like I'm doing, I'm running uh, some rear camera wiring and some power wiring, you may wanna open this channel up so that you can get some wiring underneath and side. Um, so this is the subwoofer panel here. This is the rear leather panel. Now my car also has a problem that I'm gonna be able to solve while I'm doing this, where when the temperature is just right hot, like in the 90s, and this has been in the sun, there's this drum sound, but there's a clunk that starts to happen when I go over bumps. And there's actually a, a catch, um, a little bracket that's not engaged or buffered properly in here, so so I wanna get rid of that. Um, so while I have this rear center leather piece out, I'm gonna take care of that issue. So there's a bunch of reasons you might have this out. You might wanna be fin refinishing the leather. So uh, taking it out is just a methodical process. Um, you need a couple of basic tools and you might need a couple of parts. So let's go over to the bench and talk about that now. So we only need a few simple tools to remove the rear center console. We need a seven millimeter socket. This is a six point quarter inch drive and I'm gonna use it with my uh, nut driver and just to make it easier, um, we're gonna need a number two Phillips, uh, which is an easy one. Uh, I have a non-marring small pry tool that we're gonna use to get underneath the fir trees at the beginning. And then it's always handy to have um, a, a shop light just uh, in case you're having trouble seeing something. Here we are inside the car. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of two guys crammed in a DB9 working in, in the impossible rear area space videos. Uh, but we're gonna try hard to get the shots. So since we're, we're taking out the rear center console parts here, and essentially it's gonna go in layers. So we're gonna take out this piece, and then we might take out this piece, but you'll notice that the seats overlap the top piece. So we're gonna to have to pop these loose. I'm gonna show you how to do that. All of it starts with lifting up this front edge uh, to expose some screws to begin with. Now there's two fir trees, these plastic fir tree clips, one right here, one right here. Um, and I already know, because I've had this off once in the past, that the damn previous owner had broken the plastic that actually holds the fir tree. They actually broke part of the actual frame of uh, the part. So I'm gonna be extra delicate here. I may end up be cussing, um, but we're just gonna get under with a a trim tool, tool here. And I'm just going to be lifting up. Well, has either the fir tree or the plastic breaking. And then this just lifts away at the back edge. So the answer is, well, there's my cracked clip and that's the condition it was in. So you need to not be gonzo when you're prying this up. Um, yeah, there's hardly anything left there of that. I'll be trying to fix it, but here's the fir tree still stuck in the hole. But that's the first piece. And the reason this maybe gets broken is because you have to start lifting this one up to even get the center console out because you have to get to this screw um, to pull off this piece. So from here on, it's honestly, it gets easier. Now, the speaker grill is held on with two screws for the subwoofer. So just 
that's a simple removal. And we've, so there's your subwoofer, if you've ever been wondering where that is. And now we've got two more screws. That's all it takes to release this upper piece, but we have to get rid of, uh, we have to loosen up these seat backs. So let's get started on that next. To lift up this back component, we actually have to remove the seat squab and this little back panel. So I've shown this in other videos. It's just held on by Velcro. So you just lift up in a way and there's your velcro strip one part that's already separated this because the glue's not even sticking anymore on the seat bottom so this is your battery compartment your battery uh if you've ever pushed the button in the back of the trunk that says um deactivate the battery system to save battery power this is the button you have to push again to reactivate it so now we have to remove this little trim plate. This is held on with four patches of Velcro, so you just literally grab it, pull it towards you at the bottom. Hey, there's Aston 1936. So there's those four patches of Velcro. That reveals these two seven millimeter bolts. And this is what's holding the actual uh, upper seat compart portion to get in here. So we're just gonna take these out. Sure. All right, get this out of here. So now, with a little luck, we should be able to have enough slack to just pull this and you push it up. There we go. Because you're coming off some a hook at the top. So there's the hook that would be riding on that latches into the seat back. So all we need to do is just leave this sitting to the side now, because now you can see that we can get our clearance we need to remove uh, the center panel. All right, now we can get at those two center screws. So all we need to do now is remove these two screws, which are just simple number, number two Phillips. And so there's no screws or clips anywhere in the back. Now we just have to slide the whole assembly forward there is a wire in there, so you can't just come out all the way in one shot. So the wire that's in there is for the center mounted brake light. And we might be able to get the camera in with a little angle up view just to see it. And I'm gonna push in, so I pushed in on the center of the green connector and it came out easily and that's it you can remove this now i'm going to show you why i'm in here see this little metal tab that's the part that retains it up by the center brake light and it goes into a slot that's up there that's way far away to reach now when i first had this part out there was a piece of foam about half inch thick foam that had been wrapped around this that was manky and it fell off. And I've had this drumming sound every time with temperatures ever above 93 degrees. And I think that's the temperature that this whole long thing stretches out. And then this sits there and taps on there. So I'm taking this thing out so I can put another piece of foam wrapped around that tab. Now, in here, if uh, we try to get the camera maybe up to look through this hole where my finger is, we can actually see the back of the DVD player and its wiring. 
And you can see this main power cable that goes to the rear fuse box. You can see the seatbelt mounting points, the speaker stuff. So if you're actually gonna run uh, any sort of electronics through to the back of the car, this is a great pathway that you could potentially follow. So um, that's how we get the um, rear center console components out. Well, that only took about five or six, 10 minutes tops to get uh, all of the rear center console out. Uh, you know, the, the first piece, the speaker grill, the long rear center part that you can now get in and clean all the dust out on your uh, rear brake light. Uh, maybe you're coming in to refinish your leather. Maybe you're coming in to do the foam tab on here like I was doing. Uh, whatever your project is for getting under the rear center, uh, that's how you get under there to get started. So down here, you're gonna find a link to my companion blog uh, where I have this article and others about all the process steps. Um, probably have links to the foam I use and how to put it back together, where to get the fir tree clips, stuff like that. Up here, uh, you'll certainly find the, the next article will probably be uh, reinstalling all the center console components. Um, and if you like to get videos like this, go ahead and please subscribe and you get automatically notified when new ones come out. And as always, I love to hear your comments. Please leave those down below. Thanks for watching.